Okay, Coastal Living, we're back here for another Wellness Wednesday. I'm Dr. Chad Peters with Sports Doc DC. And today, my point that's gonna help make your life better is we're gonna talk about changing your perspective to change your life. That's why I'm down here on the floor, because I wanna give you an example where this can hit home. I tend to teach in my analogies with profound impacts. The sillier, the more creative, the more hard hitting, the more that stuff sticks in your brain. So we're gonna talk about this, and that's why I wanted to shoot this video laying down on the floor in my office. So the first example I wanna to give to you, and we've all had this before, is, is imagine you're making your kid's uh, school lunch and you drop a blueberry on the floor. Now, you know it fell, you, you felt it move, you saw it go, you finish up your thing and you start looking around and you can't find the blueberry anywhere. Now, this happens to men more often than women, and I know this show is primarily women, so maybe you guys don't get this as much, but you all have husbands or you have boyfriends. Remember, you know, think about when we open up the refrigerator and say, hey honey, where's the ketchup? I mean, here's the problem. Men look, but they don't see. But this happens to all of us in some aspects. So this is the blueberry aspect I'm giving you. You can sit and look at that for that blueberry for five minutes, you're not gonna find it. But an easy way to solve that, and this is something I teach my kids, is get down the floor. Lay it on the floor, look for it yourself, bang, it makes it super obvious. That little tiny blueberry looks this big when you're laying on the floor. A simple change in perspective makes a change that makes it easier to fix whatever the problem is in your life. Now, a few episodes ago, I talked about when I was having a really bad day and I drove into work and used a perspective change. It came to my head because I'm a little bit silly and crazy anyway, but I imagined that my bad day was being viewed as a TV show from an outside audience looking in. And if someone was watching that day, they would just have laughed. They would have been like, hey, I've been there. We've had that day. And it took my stress level of having a bad day to zero instantly. These little perspective changes can greatly change your life. Another thing that I like to do, and I do this when I present to my police department a lot of times, and when I do career things out at the university, I talk about using Google images to get a different perspective. Take for example me, I'm a sports-based chiropractor. If I get on Google images and search chiropractors, a million images will come up. Now, the guys that pop up on chiropractors that I look at, I tend to laugh at. I feel like I'm nothing like those guys. I don't wanna be like those guys. But what happens if your perspective and your idea is exactly like what happens there? Then you've got a decision. This is what I tell my cops, my young cops. I said, just Google cops. Because if you see the cops that are sitting around and they're super fat and they're eating a donut, the best way to change that idea is not be that person. So it could give you just a different perspective on how people see it. I loved it when those memes came out a few years ago, you know, the ones, what, what my profession is, what I do, what I think I do, what my parents think I do, what my best friends think I do, what I actually do. This is a great way to get those things. I think it's an honest, cool, fun perspective that adds a little humor to it, and that's the way I live my life. Now my third example on perspective change is the extreme example. These are brutal. They're 100% to the point, they cut like a knife, and they hurt. These are also known as guilty mom perspective, right? I can't believe you're complaining about eating that oatmeal. There's starving kids in China that would love to have that oatmeal, they've got nothing. Or the other day when I was going for a run outside and it was hot and it was brutal, and I saw a guy in a wheelchair rolling by. Obviously my run become much easier. So you can play with extreme examples when you need to too. They cut, they're brutal, they hurt. They're not real well utilized in uh, modern society because we tend to be a little bit more PC in control, but that doesn't mean you can't use it in your head. When you get stuck on something and you're sure it's a horrible perspective or a horrible idea, maybe you change your perspective to an extreme once in a while and realize, okay, maybe it's not so bad. Guys, Anyway, I hope the change of perspective helps you get a grasp on where you wanna be and helps your day, if nothing else, adds a little bit more fun to your day. But I do use perspective changes a lot in my own life and it seems to greatly help. Take care, you guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Have another great Wellness Wednesday.